is composed of about 20 or more ingredients containing petrochemicals. There's no oxygen present. It can lead to fermentation, lactic acid production. I struggled with irritated skin in the past and I struggle with hyperpigmentation and it's something that I just distracted from flowers, seeds, leaves of plants and they can easily actually trigger negative reaction. Fragrance may not destroy your skin but lovely. So welcome to my little skincare. If you're on bright skin, how to sing going skin, you're in the right channel. So hit that like, subscribe and notification bell. Let's get right into this video. Yeah. So today I'm going to be talking about fragrance, right? That word is um, <laughs> literally divides the skincare community. So if you don't take anything away from this video, basically remember this, something that is added to mask the smell of ingredients. Yeah. So there are really two main definitions for fragrance. A scent and a mixture made of essential oils and aroma compounds to make something smell good. A scent added to beauty cosmetic products to mask and hide the odor of its ingredients. Yeah, chemicals, I work in a lab. I worked in a lab for years and chemicals smell there are some chemicals that are just nasty some look cute they could have different colors and pretty colors but some chemicals are just oh can't it's just disgusting right okay you're probably asking yourself everyone says fragrance is bad for you fragrances can be potent skin sensitizers make your skin sensitive lead to eczema psoriasis contact dermatitis different things and other allergens why do companies continue to use fragrance in their skincare products that's a very simple answer to get you to buy them <laughs> three types right synthetic fragrance natural fragrance and essential oils okay just labels such as perfume slash fragrance or fragrance slash perfume those are synthetic fragrances right generally they're composed of about 20 or more ingredients containing petrochemicals phthalates and benzene derivatives they're not essentially toxic as people make them out to be but it can be irritating to your skin and now natural fragrances i know the word natural may be a bit misleading when it comes to natural fragrances now let me just tell you something right natural fragrances are usually extracted from natural ingredients such as citrus fruits or citrus flowers go through a process known as distillation right or fermentation or cold pressing so if you remember the restoration chapter in school for example where there's if there's no oxygen present it can lead to fermentation lactic acid production so that's just a vague vague cover of um explanation for fermentation but don't make this mistake that it may be safer for you than synthetic fragrance natural fragrances can just as much as synthetic trigger a reaction especially in sensitive skin now usually on your list of ingredients it's usually going to be listed as natural fragrance and usually would have the allergens citral and limonene listed separately well, you're probably wondering why everyone hates essential oils, but some people like essential oils and everyone comes to the person who likes essential oils like, Karen, don't be using that essential oil over there. It's not going to help your skin. Um, I'll tell you why, because it's actually the worst of the three, right? It's the, probably the worst fragrance you can actually use on your skin. They're extracted from flowers, seeds, leaves of plants, and they can easily actually trigger negative reaction. And usually you find them labeled separately on the ingredient list, such as lemonade, for example or lavandula that's just two examples i'm giving you right we've established that fragrance is probably one of the most irritating ingredients that can be in a skincare product and it's unnecessary to have in a skincare product right you're probably watching this and you use products that contain fragrance usually maybe listed as the last ingredient in the ingredient list or it's listed by the manufacturer of the brand as being less than one percent and you're saying oh it's fine i use it and i'm not reacting to it i'm not sensitive to it but what happens? Let me tell you what exactly is happening. And our skin is very good at hiding things, right? Sometimes. So you're using a product that contains fragrance, it's not showing aggravation, it's not showing any signs of irritation, skin barrier is perfectly healthy. You might not see the damage that it's occurring on your skin surface, but over time with continuous use every day, there are tiny damages that are going on way beneath the surface that we cannot see with our human eye. It leads to inflammation in the deeper layers of your skin in some individuals. And in those damages and inflammation that's been going on for quite some time that we've not been seeing, then come out in the form of wrinkles and dark spots. But there's actually no proof yet that fragrances used by skincare companies or cosmetic companies in small concentrations actually cause inflammation deeper into the layers of the skin. Opinions that have been formed over the years have been based upon in vitro studies, in vitro meaning in a dish, which are done with higher concentrations of fragrant ingredients. I really want to take my opinion and my advice and my two cents on this because you've been using products that contain fragrance and you've not seen an adverse reaction or irritation on your skin's fine. I would recommend you opting out of it anyway. There's really no benefit from fragrant ingredients in skincare, not at all, and there's really no benefits for fragrant ingredients for your skin. 
and I really don't see the main purpose of it being in a skincare product in the first place apart from giving you that nice sensory feel that you're applying your skin and you feel good and you're rubbing it back and forth so on and so on really real with you it's doing no benefits for your skin aside from making you smell good or making you happy and making you want to buy more of the product probably so fragrance may not cause serious harm on non-irritated non-sensitive skin but why continue using it it has no benefits for you there's no benefits at all if you have a fragrance free product so just know that what you're smelling there are the ingredients and no artificial fragrances added to the mix and if those ingredients have your own smell how can brands get away with labeling something fragrance free or scent free right remember the first definition well, labeling laws are anything that is added to mask the smell of ingredients so in this case if you have a product at home or on your shelf and it's labeled fragrance free or scent free that means the brand or the manufacturer hasn't added any artificial components or any artificial ingredients or anything to mask the smell of all the other ingredients in the product. In my opinion, I think fragrance is unnecessary in a skincare product. And I feel like if you're someone who likes the sensory benefits of smelling good even when you're doing your skincare routine because you don't want to be spending 30 minutes doing your skincare routine in the bathroom and you just smell, oh. Just light a scented candle in the bathroom, that's what I do. I just light a scented candle. I prefer to have fragrance-free skincare products, right? Right. The, the only thing I give it if my cleanser has a fragrance and I like the cleanser and it's working great for my skin, I might continue to use it because I'm washing the cleanser off my face. Right. It's only if there is no other cleanser in the world that isn't working for me and that's fragrance free. Right. I personally don't want to put my skin at the risk of developing an allergy or having an irritation or reaction to something. Right. A lot of brands have tried. A lot of people try to say it's you know it's everyone's choice it is everyone's opinion it is everyone's choice and it is a preference skincare is a preference right honest truth I, it has it does nothing for you it's not like vitamin c that's helping you fight for radicals or helping you brighten your skin or it's not like niacinamide that's helping you with your pores and controlling your oil production it's literally doing nothing it's literally just making you smell nice but then again you've got perfumes like i said in my video about when i compare fenty skin to kylie's skin I mentioned that I would just spray my perfume on my PJs or my lingerie then go to bed right or like a scented candle when I'm doing my skincare routine in the bathroom so my environment smells nice so by the time I'm finished doing my skincare routine I don't even notice that my products my six or seven products that I've used don't smell like anything nice by the time I know it my skincare routine is finished baby I'm done and I still smell good <laughs> do you get what I mean <laughs> So yeah, guys, I definitely don't think it's necessary in anybody's skincare product. And I definitely don't think it's necessary in any skincare routine. Fragrance may not destroy your skin, but it has no benefits either. So why? Why waste your time? <laughs> if I had a brand, I wouldn't include fragrance in my products because I've struggled with irritated skin in the past. And I struggle with hyperpigmentation and it's something that I just doesn't benefit me to use and doesn't benefit me to have on my list of ingredients. Yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys really found this informative and it's very short and sweet. And if you're new to Valento Skincare, thank you for joining the Valento Skincare family. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if you're returning, thank you for returning. I love you guys and thank you, lovelies. See you in my next video.